Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, seismic risk, space news, the past, solar forcing, and a rundown of the last month's Deeper Look episodes. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun brings a coronal hole to center disk and brightness all around it. Over the last couple days, a few CMEs have left the sun, aimed away from Earth, but this morning, we are seeing increasing potential for solar events this way, as in addition to the two bigger umbra on the north, we've got several other areas developing sunspots now. Eyes on them. And we go to the articles, where we begin with the only portion of San Andreas that wasn't supposed to be super dangerous, and it turns out they were wrong. The rock configuration suggests that both in the past and coming in the future, the fault zone formerly known as the principal safe area of San Andreas, right between LA and San Francisco, is not so safe. We are heading out to Chandra next, where their explanations of points of light may be imaginative, but their visualizations are top-notch as always. The story here is about the continued detection of x-rays from a transient source back in 2017. They think it was a stellar merger, but again, they're only using points of light to guess. They don't see merging stars or anything. And in fact, the secondary x-ray components they see they are 100% unsure about whether it's shock-driven impacts of the Nova event or material crashing back towards it. But despite their lack of certainty, it certainly didn't stop the animators from having fun with this one. In some a astronomy up next, they are rethinking the heralded announcement of signals from the cosmic dawn. When people asked about my blasé attitude towards that announcement, I said they don't even really know what they're looking at, and it turns out that was truer than I realized. Instrumental error, like over half the gravitational wave detections. But we are moving on because this is super cool. A piece of art 30,000 years old was found a preposterous distance from where the stone comes from. It puts both into perspective the vast traveling potential of ancient people and the time with which humans have been thinking creatively about the world and its workings. Last but not least, a technical note on solar climate forcing. We have gone over quite a bit on the interplanetary magnetic field and more recently on penetration electric fields. Good one here on the particle effects of undergoing the solar wind magnetic reversal, the last bastion of underappreciated solar forcing. Folks, over at suspiciousobservers.org, the February Deeper Look episodes for website members were sort of off the charts. Yesterday, we did your link list for the month, and the South Magnetic Pole speeding up. Scariest story of the year so far. We hit the galactic sheet dust and micronova bombardment timeline, a global warming failure, the new equator and tsunamis in the Earth tilt, the equator were traveling waves of ionization from the aurora, how to freeze a mammoth, and more. Website memberships are the number one way to support this free daily news program you watch on YouTube every day, and the only way to dive deeper and get on the same page as the rest of us. We greatly appreciate your support. That's suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.